Ladies and gentlemen, we now find Moxie Slate, captain of the good ship Cauliflower, in the midst of a howling hurricane. Waves are dashing high as Captain Slate nervously paces the deck. hurricane we're having. We're having? Listen, baby, I'm having this hurricane, and it's carried away all my sails. But, Captain, this is no sailing vessel. This is a steamer. Blow me down. It's a wonder they wouldn't tell me that before we left port. Oh, it's getting worse. Will this storm ever spend itself? Spend itself? No. It's off the coast of Scotland. <laughs> How can you listen to stuff well, like that? I'll turn it down a little. Five thousand dollars for that. Why doesn't he get something intelligent, something... Nick, I've got it. Why don't you write something for the radio, for Moxie? Me? Sylvia, you don't think that I would... Oh, it would only be temporary, Nick. It would take care of the money problem, and your mind would be free to write better things. Don't you think you could do it, Nicky? Do it? Well, if I did, which I won't. I'd write something better than that. Why don't you be nice to me? It seems I'm always at your mercy. I don't know why when I'm with you, I'm just like putty. A oh, goody goody. Your lips, your nose, your teeth, your do, they've got me nutty. You just like putty. I don't know what it is you've got. It must be something. I got you jumping. Oh, why? Why am I this way with you and no one but you at every dinner party? I'm the lady's choice. I hold my own with hollow, double, and even Peggy Joyce. That's a lot of baloney. Let me tell you that I'm million. Gals all sigh when I just dip my derby. I'm hot sea toby. It rhymes. I don't. Know why I'm just putty in your hand. 